This is Mr. Miller, highly concentrated. And these are his kidneys, always looking for balance. Every day, the kidneys filter Mr. Miller's entire blood around 36 times. The oxygen content in the blood is also regulated by the kidneys. When oxygen is low, the kidneys form the hormone EPO, completely naturally, without any doping. EPO stimulates the maturation of red blood cells. The haemoglobin in the red blood cells carries the oxygen to the cells. Without the kidneys, nothing would work in the body. Mr. Miller's kidneys would also be great water managers, if Mr. Miller would drink enough. But Mr. Miller drinks too little. The kidneys reduce water excretion and report it to the brain. Mr. Miller feels thirsty. Those who consistently do not drink enough make it more difficult for the kidneys to do their work and increase the risk to develop kidney stones. One day, Mr. Miller develops severe pain. He has a kidney stone and gets renal colic, just like his father and his aunt. Mr. Miller has inherited predisposition for kidney stones from his ancestors. Which genes exactly are involved remains an unexplained mystery. What is certain, however, is that once someone has had kidney stones, they unfortunately tend to recur quite often. Mr. Miller has no choice but to eat a more kidney-friendly diet. He should also refrain from convenience foods because they are usually enriched with phosphate. The kidneys need to balance phosphate and calcium levels in the blood. To eliminate excess phosphate means more work. The kidneys also maintain the balance of acids and bases in the blood. The blood must not become too acidic or too basic. Mr. Miller's kidneys are truly multi-talented. They release EPO, enable oxygen transport in the blood, regulate water balance, affect blood pressure, excrete metabolites and toxins. They ensure that not too much and not too little of the vital salts and minerals in the blood are present. They control the balance of acids and bases and they maintain mineralization of bones and teeth. And of course, the genes are determining all these processes. How do the kidneys master all this? The National Centre of Competence in Research, kidney.ch, focuses exactly on that question. At kidney.ch, more than 20 kidney specialists work all over Switzerland with their interdisciplinary teams from biology, medicine, genetics and nutrition to better understand the complexities of the kidneys and their diseases. The NCCR Kidney.ch is financed by the Swiss National Science Foundation and is headquartered at the University of Zurich. Oh, I almost forgot. Kidney.ch has set up a kidney stone cohort study. Over 600 patients have been enrolled already. Me as well. I have to go now. I have an appointment in the hospital. See you.